implants are ridiculous. We've known this, it's true, get used to it, it's the new normal. So what I wanna do is over the next couple of weeks actually go through some of the details on these implants and help you guys understand kind of how they work, maybe where to upgrade them, where to spend your ISK, and be able to get a better sense of how to use some of these. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Focus Crystal Implant, and as we go through again over the next couple of weeks, I'll try to make my way through some of these other ones, but I did have to redo this video because the price of neural compilers has dropped so much as a result of the new DR. If you haven't already, be sure to go check out one of the new DRs. Um, you can get the level 10 premium loot box pretty easily and with fairly low risk, um, just using like a uh, Assault Battle Cruiser uh, or one of the two variants. And it's really hit the market pretty hard. So with that being said, I'm gonna give some numbers here kind of before and after, and then we're gonna be using those as we go forward and talk about kind of how I would play some of this and where I would spend the ISK. So that being said, let's undock and dive in. Now, the reason that I had to redo this video is because with the price of neural compilers dropping so much, it's kind of changed the calculus a little bit. Before the DR5 dropped, we were looking at a total price of about 300 billion ISK to be able to get a compiler, or I'm sorry, to get an implant from level one to level 45. Now that number is looking closer to 170 billion. Still a lot of money, still a lot of ISK, but it makes some of those lower levels a lot more attainable. So as I talk through this, again, I'm gonna have to basically have re-recorded this whole video. So hopefully you guys can bear with me. I know that the markets are really in flux right now. So kind of take this with a grain of salt and apply some of your own logic. Maybe if they stabilize, I'll do another uh, another video later. So just running through the numbers real fast, in order to get from level one to level 10, with the current price of the neural implants, the crawlers, you're looking at about 300 million ISK. Really not bad. At level 25, you have to be, or at level 10 to get to level 25, you have to be using the depth neural compilers. You can use the higher ones, but again, I'm just gonna be using kind of the, the lowest possible here to make the math easy. You're looking at 1,200-ish uh, compile, depth compilers. That's gonna cost you around 11.5 billion ISK right now. In order to get from 25 up to 40, you're having to use 4,200 of the uh, the Genesis, the level threes, uh, that's going to run you around 82 billion, around 83 billion actually. And then finally to go from 40 up to 45, it's going to take you about, uh, 1900 of the Ascension compilers, and that's going to run you around 74 billion ISK again for a total of the 168 billion. Now, again, this is all very subject to change. I have gone through and tried to use the uh, the numbers for these compilers based off of the screenshots. This is all on Fulmination, so I'm not doing it myself, but you can kind of see, generally speaking, what it's gonna take in order to get you to that next level. As we talk about the laser implant specifically, and we're talking about the focus crystal, the key here is going to be that with the focus crystal, you are basically adding stacks or levels each time you are hitting your target, and that is giving you a damage buff. Now the damage buff itself is going to be pretty pretty spectacular as you start getting up in levels. And you can see as you're hitting with the salvos, so basically all of your guns stacked together, as you're hitting with those salvos, it's going up a fair amount each time. Now on levels one through 10, this number uh, really kind of taps out pretty well. Um, you get about 800 extra DPS. I am using the Apoc Striker here with a ranged fit and with four uh, heat sinks. This is kind of what I've seen a lot of people use when they're, they're ratting, uh, whether it's in DR or just regular ratting. So at level 10, you do get about, f uh, 4,100 ish, uh, DPS. That's going to be pretty good over what you're getting. Normally, again, you don't have to have anything active. If you're going full hot at that point, you are almost doubling your DPS. And depending on what your laser skills are, you may be doing that for, uh, what is it? 25 seconds or so, 26 seconds. So really not bad. When we hit level 10, we're able to put a GU on. I'm gonna talk about those more in just a minute, which ones I think you should use. And then as we start going up into level 15, we're using those depth compilers. We're being able to uh, get that second ability. Now for me, I'm gonna take the armor, extra armor instead of shield. I think just because of the way that uh, armor is with the Apoc Striker, that's gonna be useful for most people. 
um, it's going to give you again just that extra bit of resistance it's going to give you a little bit um, higher amount overall and I think for a lot of people, especially if you're trying to just tank at the end or tank, you know, because you're getting shot and whatever, you can charge this thing up and then actually be able to use that. Especially at some of the higher levels, you're getting almost half your armor and at level 45, you're getting all of your armor basically uh, back so that you're able to really get a pretty good extender there. Now, when we hit level uh, 25, we are going to be at 54% extra. This is where I would have stopped before the uh before the market has crashed um i think that at this point you are getting some great benefits but uh just the price tag for me to go from that previous level all the way up to the the level 30 where we're getting the next set of abilities it was just a little little high um you were looking at about 33 billion isk just to make that jump but now with the market having crashed it's still expensive but you're looking at about 19 billion 19 and a half that's a lot more palatable um you know again it's still almost the price of a capital but it's not a fully fit capital so in my opinion it's now more worth it and when you do that you are able to get the extra um the extra bonuses of the second skills i would take the one that gives you the additional stacks um just because it then allows you to get up that much higher and when you're hitting things at again 80 90 kilometers probably not missing that much so if you're doing it right you should be able to maintain that high rate of dps for a little bit longer now just for giggles i did go ahead and go all the way up to 45 uh level 45 here you can see the damage on this is just insane cold we're getting about 9,000 uh dps it's 180 percent uh additional damage to the base 3200 and honestly like it's just it's it's mind-blowing how much damage this thing is putting out now is it worth it to go to the this level i don't believe so i i think that unless you're flying a dread that's completely blinged out integrated whatever i i don't know this this feels like overkill at this point if the market keeps coming down maybe we'll see but to me it just i don't know that i'm ever going to upgrade something that high just because it is so freaking expensive the next question that's gonna come up is going to be for the general units. You get four slots at level 30, and so if we're going up to that, these are the ones that I would recommend. Now, number one, if you can afford it, is the tracking uh, computer buff. This one is, especially if you're looking for a range fit sniper build, this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Unfortunately, the price reflects that. Right now, level seven is around five billion, and so I don't know that I would necessarily go out and buy this one right away until you've really had a chance to kind of rebuild your war chest from upgrading that nano core. I'm sorry, from upgrading that implant. That is going to be kind of the first thing that I would do. I would not try to go out and buy one of these general units, uh, at least this one in particular, until you've had a chance to really level up that core. I don't know why I keep saying core. It's an implant. Why? Until you have a chance to upgrade that implant. The second one that I would actually really recommend is maybe surprising to some people. It's one that is uh, really not that expensive, relatively speaking, but it's going to be the target painter upgrade. And again, the idea here is that we're able to extend that range of the target painters so that they're just reaching out a little bit further. We're getting uh, to kind of extend the target surface area of some of those a little bit faster. It's one that you can afford pretty easily and it gets you a little bit closer to what your guns are actually going to be doing. Especially as you get smaller frigs that are running towards you, you wanna be able to blow those up really, really fast before they get in close and just start orbiting you and you can't do anything about them. So I would really be looking at that one. I think it's a good value pick if you're going to get one here in the first, you know, call it first five billion is that you're spending or something like that, right? Number three is going to be the heat sink module efficiency operation optimization, whatever it is. It's the, the top one, whatever you see. The reason this one is that it is a passive buff. Again, it's pretty pricey, so I probably would not get this one right away, but I think it's a good value for what you're getting because again, the implant itself is passive, so you're able to just keep building and building and building. For the last slot, I'm gonna again go a little bit off the beaten path here. I'm actually gonna recommend the inertial stab uh, implant that increases the uh, passive ability of the eye stab while increasing the duration between when you can actually activate it. The reason for this is less for ratting. Again, you're 
probably heard me talk a lot about the, or you did hear me talk a lot about the APOC strikers, the meta there that's kind of in the ratting uh, area, if you will. Um, the reason I would take this one is more from a PvP perspective. You're seeing a lot of uh, fleets with assault battle cruisers and with uh, you know laser ships that are looking to move from like Jita all the way into Nullsec very quickly um, to hit a capital or something like that. Having this ability to give that extra little uh, time, you're shaving off maybe you know two or three seconds off of every jump, something like that. Over the course of you know 30 jumps, that can add up to a couple of minutes, and that can be the difference between getting a kill and having them get away because an enemy fleet scrambles. Again, this would probably be a nice to have. I'd probably put it at the lowest on the list, but given some of the prices of the other ones, I think that's probably going to be my pick for the last one. But what do you guys think? Is this a good breakdown? Do you want to see more of these? Um, again, I'm going to try to get some of these out over the next couple of weeks. So leave a comment down below with which one you want to see. And then we can also try to figure out kind of what's the best format for this. But that's it for today. So remember, guys, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be trying to get some of this out. Life is crazy right now, so apologies for the delays there. But I hope that you guys are able to enjoy this. Go out and get some more of those implants and really start building up your pilot skills. With that being said, everybody, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Remember, kill marks last forever and fly safe. Have a good one, y'all.